begin this morning with what's happening in the tropics. It has been really busy so far this season. Storm names have been pushed into the Greek alphabet. CBS 4 meteorologist Jennifer Correa joins us now with the latest on these storms. Good morning, Jennifer. Uh, good morning, Ty. That's right into the Greek alphabet. In fact, I'm going to start off with tropical storm beta and beta is packing maximum sustained winds at 16 miles per hour moving towards the north, but rather slowly and it is expected to eventually kind of curve around and move back out towards the west northwest by Monday morning, becoming a category one hurricane and then threatening the Texas Gulf Coast near Corpus Christi. Once it gets closer to the Gulf Coast, it's still very uncertain whether it's going to make landfall or just kind of hug the coast and then make that turn towards the northeast and ride up along the Gulf Coast up through Houston and into Louisiana and then eventually downgrading to a tropical storm. But as you can see, this is going to be a rainmaker for the Gulf Coast. Then there's Wilfred short is is expected to be short lived. Teddy, a major hurricane alpha, now a remnant low moving through parts of Spain and then two other areas with formation potential. Let's take a closer look at Hurricane Teddy. Teddy, of course, this is still a threat for Bermuda. However, uh, Bermuda is outside of the cone, so looks like Teddy will be moving to the east of Bermuda, which I guess this would be the best possible situation for Bermudas.